This is a build on Cook on screen right now. First similar build to our Blood build. But we have Serrated instead of Prey Drive to get that extra damage in the DPS from our actual ability. And Blood Harvesting at 46 and Endurance at 16. And that's the build right there. Copy it, enjoy it. Let's jump into the gameplay and let's have a bit of fun here. Welcome, welcome to a new subscriber. Um, I think there should be a perk in the game that detects people automatically if they're hiding in fridges or hiding in obstacle. That'd be a fun perk to carry. So you find people in hiding spots and use that against them. The only thing you have right now is punishment, and that's when you grab someone out of a hiding spot. And honestly, it doesn't happen. It's like a very low chance. Let's jump to it, let's jump to it. Full focus, full focus. Time is sweat, time is sweat. As the cook. Try to go down, like this. Give me the blood, give me a gimme. 37, just like that. You go over here. Open this. Trap this door. Then collect the blood there too. This map has been the best map for Cook because of the rotations he can have with the blood build. Plus his padlocks doing being like super effective against the enemy team. But they really have no chance against it. Which I do like. Hunter 11. I will give the blood away to Grandpa now. So I don't lose any blood. Because each bucket counts, and we'll make sure we utilize it perfectly. He's been awoken. Enjoy. From here, let's get the other blood bucket over here. This is a very good route for the character too, where we're rotating. Block this, and now we're pretty much set. We've got full lockdown. We can make XP by using our hearing ability as well, if we want to. Right now, that is the case. I'm gonna collect blood first. But we have to be grab again to hopefully get level two. And nobody escapes hell as our first perk, which means now that is actually really, really good for us. Let's wait to delay the enemy team. Oh, there's usually blood there, but there isn't. We got a kill. Nice. Let's be grab it once again. Be closer, closer to level two. Maybe if we have enough time, this is, has reset, but not. It has not. So we we'll go upstairs. Get the blood inside this room. So every moment counts. And honestly, right now they're still in the basement, and I can keep doing this. I can't hear nothing. Uh, one in basement. I don't think anyone's come up yet. Nice feeding on grandpa. Respect it. I'm only waiting for this to activate. I am only waiting for that. Nothing else. I don't even care about anything else. I just want this to activate. Well, I might actually go outside there and click the one here first. Then come back. Wait, there's one there? Wait, what? There's always one there. I've never seen a not spawn there. Hey, blood. I'ma smack that Johnny upside his doggone head. This is all his doing. You might XP, man. I can grab to level 5 pretty quickly. This would be really nice. They have to stab Grandpa. So what we're trying to right here is a secondary objective that becomes their main objective. Because they have to stop it. They don't stop it, they lose the game. Get a little full grab nearly. On me! Nice. Ah, uh, feed grab, I feed grab again. Ah, Sissy, feed him. Nice. Well, jump out of the window, I think. Oh, never mind, that's you. I 
I'll give him to level five. I'll give him to level five. I got it. Keep finding them. Keep finding them. One still in basement. And level five, here we come. Why is that window perk not activating? Sorry, a well perk. Level five, enjoy. Nice. Both in basement. Oh my god, this is the power of the cook. The power of the cook. No chance. This is my ability for them. What was that? Nice work, good kill. One more. Side guard and side guard, he's still opening. You can kill him. You can kill him before he opens the door. Or goes up the ladder. I should gonna say up top here. That level five grabber perk. Oh, getting grabbed to level five. Look how good it is. Look how good it is. How do you play against it? Our team's already camping. Is that the door? Nice work. He's dead. GG, GG's. This is why I'm telling you, this build is disgusting. It is absolutely disgusting. Yes, I had a choice to choose between security pings to delay them from getting out. But does it really matter when I can get Grandpa to level 5 and force them to stay in the house even further? Or force them to stay in the map even further because they're scared of the wall hacks and getting that information and being used against them at all times? It's just bad for them? Yes, I will do that anytime. Blood build is maybe the best builds you can have. And you don't need a full blood build. You don't need a all a three perks to be blood. As you see here, we've got Scout and Ghost Raider. So if we do get into engagement, we actually got a bit of damage that can apply to enemies. While also having a bit of movement as well. And also having the blood buckets used to our favor with our blood harvesting stacks. Not even at 50. So I do think that there's a place for this. And it's kind of crazy how strong it is. Because if one of these players don't run Agitator, they've automatically lost the game. Automatically. You have to be so quick to escape. If you're not quick to escape, you need to put pressure on the family. If you're not able to put pressure on the family then you better have Agitate to save your life. Or oh, GG's. GG's. That was a really fun one. If you mates are on your channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, follow us on Twitch, join the Discord, create Lordia Games, so I saw 10% off, and also retailmerch.com. Show us more. Greatly appreciated.